This is a perfect uh, idea for Republicans to get behind because we are the law and order party yeah. and we want people that come out of prison to be productive members of society. It's not being soft on crime, it's being smart on crime because you're trying to break a cycle of having people continually be into the criminal justice system. Hello everyone, we're coming to you from Denver, Colorado at the ALEC 51st Annual Meeting. I'm so pleased to be joined today by Illinois State Representative John Cabello. He is the Assistant Minority Leader in the Illinois Legislature. Uh, as a Republican, you introduced me to a new term today. Your party is in the super minority. What does that mean? That means out of 118, we have 40 members on the Republican side. Wow. And so you've had to find creative ways to get policies through and to work collaboratively with the Democrats. And because you have a background in law enforcement, tell me how you have been able to bring your expertise to that subject matter. Uh, well, we've been able to stop quite a few bad bills. Uh, there's still some really horrific bills for law enforcement. It seems as though the majority party um, is not friendly to law enforcement in the state of Illinois. We passed really uh, bad uh, legislation mainly uh, recently that's called the Safety Act. Uh, we got limited cash bail, um, which has really thrown uh, lots of the state into disarray with uh, some really bad people coming out of uh, jail when they shouldn't be. Um, but being able to find common ground on certain things, um, you, you, you build friendships on the other side of the aisle. And sometimes your name is not the first name. Uh, you're not the lead sponsor of the bill, um, but you get one of your friends from the other side of the aisle to uh, actually introduce the bill. You're the chief co-sponsor, and you can get things done in that way. Uh, and sometimes we get to uh, actually do some good things uh, being the chief co-sponsor. Hey, give me an example of that. So uh, one of the things that no one would have thought a uh, police detective Republican would have uh, brought up and were passed um, was a bill where we actually do some allow some seal of felonies. Um, I have no uh, temperature to help folks that have hurt another human being, uh, but there are many felons out there that have not hurt anyone. Um, so we, I came up with a bill idea that um, if you're in prison and you help yourself by completing some furthering education, you don't get in trouble. And when you get out, you successfully complete your probationary period, you can immediately petition the court to have your felony sealed. So these are now we did that and I thought about that because I see the recidivism rate very high and there's no way of breaking the cycle. And we're trying to find ways of breaking the cycle to have people come out of prison to be productive members of society. So this allows somebody to not have to go to get a job saying, I'm a felon, or to try to find housing saying, I'm felon. So we think that uh, this is helping the recidivism rate, um, plus it gives people um, some dignity back, and they've earned it. It's not just handed to them. It's something that they can strive for. They realize that they've been on the wrong path, they wanna get back on the right path, and this is a good way to start. Has this new law been in place long enough to see its impact? Not yet. Okay. Um, we, we are trying to track it, but um, it's not very easy to track. The Department of Corrections does a, really want to add more things that they need to track. Um, but we're going to solve that problem uh, probably with an amendment to the law saying that they have to. Um, but we're still working on that. So when you say that the felony conviction is sealed, in practical terms, what does that mean? That means that you don't have to go and tell folks that you're a felon. Got gotcha. you. So if you're a felon in the state of Illinois, which we're not allowed to actually call people felons anymore, the, the majority party passed, um, the term now we have to tell is uh, justice impacted individuals. Okay. Uh, I still call them felons, that's what they are. Yeah. Uh, but again, this is, this is for people that are trying to help themselves. Right, right. Um, so this way, again, they don't have to identify that, right. hey, I'm a felon and you know, if you're an employer and you have employees and you look, you may yeah. don't want to hire a felon. Right. No, now, that's... in the days that we are now with trying to find as many employees as you can, it's much easier. But if they go through this, 
it's much easier for them to get a job. And I think historically, a lot of people on the conservative side of the aisle haven't always been comfortable talking about these types of reforms. But you were saying this is important for us to, to do this. This is a perfect uh, idea for Republicans to get behind because we are the law and order party. Yeah. And we want people that come out of prison to be productive members of society. And many of the prison systems around the country are not correctional institutions. They're warehouses. So this is an idea that I think Republicans get behind. It's not being soft on crime. It's being smart on crime because you're trying to break a cycle of having people continually be into the criminal justice system. Well, it makes a lot of sense to me. So um, is there anything else you want to add that you're working on in Illinois? Or, um, I just... Well, we're, we're trying to stop a lot of bad yeah. things in Illinois. Um, again, we, we're the first state in the union that has eliminated cash bail as a state. Mm. Um, and that is not uh, doing our tax-paying citizens any justice. Um, they called it the Safety Act, but... The only people that it's, you know, safe for is the criminals because they can run rampant and not have any consequences. So we're, we uh, put a package of bills together because being in the super minority, we know we're not going to eliminate the Safety Act. Um, but we've put together a huge package of bills that when we look at the Safety Act and, and make it much more manageable for law enforcement, prosecutors, judges, and so on and so forth. Well, thank you so much. John Cabello from the Illinois State Legislature, State Representative. We appreciate you being here at Alec with us this week. Thanks so much. Absolutely. And um, then I'll ask, yeah, just separately, um, is there any kind of boost or plug you can give to Alec? Like how has your attendance at these meetings over the years, how has it helped you? What has Absolutely. it done? Yes. Yeah. You now or even? Uh, just, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and if you wanted to, you could even look right into the camera or me, whichever. Well, I'll just, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm rather re relatively new to Alec. Um, I wish I would have been involved earlier. Uh, what I realized is that uh, the educational aspect that uh, goes on uh, brings light more things that we never thought about. Um, you know, being on the uh, criminal justice task force now, uh, I I've seen some legislation, uh, some of the model policies uh, that we're looking at and trying to implement in Illinois. Um, and we're also offering ideas to the task force to try to help, uh, specifically right now with mental health issues for our police, fire, nurses, first responders. Um, but the, the friendships that I've made in the short period of time that I've been here and the camaraderie that goes on, there's no other uh, organization that has it. That's very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you.